In one of our other videos, we showed you how to create a scan using some of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition's built-in scan configurations. In this video, we'll look at the options you have for creating and using your own custom scan configurations. From the settings menu, you can select scan configurations to see your entire library of both built-in configurations and any custom ones that you've created already. To create a new one, just click new configuration. As you can see, most of the configuration options are grouped based on the phase of the scan that they relate to and what kind of behavior they control. These are the same options that you might be familiar with from Burp Suite Professional. To begin with, all of the settings are the same as Burp Scanner's standard configuration. You can then expand each area that you're interested in and make whatever changes you want to. For example, during the crawl phase, Burp Scanner usually attempts to create a new user whenever it identifies a registration form. You might actually not want it to do this, for argument's sake, because you're already providing valid sets of credentials as application logins when you create the site and you might not want these auto-generated Burp Scanner users lingering on your website after the scan's finished. In this case, you could just go to the Login Function section and disable this feature. You'll also want to give the configuration a sensible name so that you or other colleagues can identify it easily when creating scans. As you can apply multiple configurations to a scan, it generally makes more sense to create smaller configurations like this that only adjust one or two settings. You can then combine them in all kinds of different ways when creating scans to set a whole range of more comprehensive overall configurations. Working in this way makes your individual configurations more reusable, but it's obviously completely up to you. If there's a specific combination of settings that you use a lot, then you can obviously just change all of the settings you need in a single configuration. In addition to the settings that are specific to either the crawl or audit phase of the scan, there are a couple of extra sections down at the bottom here. Under connections, you have various options for enabling the scan to authenticate with the destination web server. You can also upload any client TLS certificates that might be required. And finally, you can configure a connection to route the scan's traffic through a proxy server if necessary. Under request throttling, you can limit how many requests the scan's allowed to make at the same time, and you can also enforce a slight delay between sending each request. This can be useful to avoid overloading your system resources when running lots of scans at the same time, and it can also help you avoid placing too much load on the target server. Once you're done making all the changes you want, just click save and the new configuration will be added to your library. If you now open the configuration, you can see that all of the areas that you haven't changed are collapsed, but the login function section that we did change is expanded to show that this configuration will override one or more of the settings in this area. Back on the scan configurations page, you can delete custom configurations that you don't want anymore, and you can click this download icon here to export any of the scan configurations in JSON format. You can also import new configurations from a JSON file. This is the same format as Burp Suite Professional, so you can easily share your favorite configurations between both products if you want. If you now go to create a scan, you can see that your new configuration is available for selection along with all the built in ones. Notice that you also have the option to upload any configurations that you previously exported as a JSON file. So that's how to create and work with custom scan configurations in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition.